Um, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Larice. And who are you, ma'am? <laughs> I am Crystal. And today, we want to talk about preservatives. Right. Um, so one of our key things that we've been working on for months is developing a lotion. Um, we're very, very, very excited about this process. Um, it's been very, very challenging. With, with lotion, um, there comes a lot of challenges as far as mold and making sure that we don't want, because we don't have mold in our product and that's not something we want to give to you. Um, but most lotions come with preservatives and very, very, um, and the preservatives that most major manufacturers use, you can't even purchase on Amazon and you can't give it, get it, even get it from a chemical um, place that sells chemicals for to, to manufacture lotion. You probably have to have a special license because I wasn't even able to find it. And I did quite a bit of research at the time to try to, um, to find this as an option. Um, the name of the preservative is called Tri, tri Black Health. I can't <laughs> we can't even it. say it. I can't even say it. <laughs> but look, we're putting that stuff on our skin, right? And so um, some of the more common ones, we're going to show you where we started at. And if, But wait, before you, she even shares uh, where we started, like there's some home-based business that make um, handmade products like lotion as well. And you will have some that'll, even big companies that'll say vegan-free or vegan-friendly and uh, it doesn't contain preservatives or parabens and stuff like that. Um, some some companies and uh, individuals are not being truth uh, truthful with stuff like that, you know, because we've tried it. We've tried to do 100% uh, natural and um, we've had some some trials like we initially started off like that and we're going to share with you the results that we got from using uh all natural based preservatives so some of the companies that do say they're vegan friendly i feel like you guys should really do your research and and find out if they're really vegan some might be telling the truth but a lot of them are not being a hundred percent uh truthful with you right um the one we started off with is called Lucida, uh, Lucidia liquid right here, Ooh, right there. And when we first tried this one, we did not get the results that we wanted. Right. Um, I'm going to show And that's you. the natural. And that's this is the, the all natural. This is the all natural preservative. And I'm going to show you what we ended up with. And we did not. And I was very, very upset. <laughs> I was acting up for, for like a few months because of the stress. <laughs> And this is the first, this is what happened when we used the all natural one. And then I'm gonna show you the like, other. You guys see the mold in there, right? Like the that's, middle, that's mold. That's disgusting. And she wanted me to throw this away. And I'm like, no, I'm saving this. <laughs> and then there's the mold from this one. So, you know, they're two different type of molds, but I, I really don't understand how one turned green and one turned like white little uh, colonations, but they're both different types of mold. Um, it was two different batches of our orange cream, but we used the natural on both of them, the natural preservatives. And, you know, this is, this is what happened. We don't want to, um, produce products like this. You know what I mean? Yes, we want to stay natural and all natural as, as best as we can, but if this is what happens, this is not a quality product and that is, you know, our, our main goal. We want to give you guys quality. You know what I mean? It's not about um, quantity and, and getting money. We want to give you guys something that is really great for your skin, makes you feel good, smells good and everything. And this, we can't stand behind something like this. Um, so we ended up moving over to Germabean 2. Well, I can't, this thing is working on because I can't tell what I'm doing. Okay, Germabean 2, and then also um, Phenonet. Um, with our products, we use less than 1% in our lotion. Um, when we looked it up, um, there, they, well, when I looked it up, a lot of people said that the things that people are eating would be would do more damage than the uh, Germabean 2 and the Phenonet because it's less than 1% of your lotions. And it and our lotions do have parabens and we do use preservatives because anything that has water in it, um, any products that you do reduce that has water in it, you have to put a preservative in it. 
or it will turn into mold. Um, we try to be as natural as we can. Um, these products both say 100% natural on them, but like I said, they do have parabens and they do, but we had to put something in there. And without, without anything, we would have had mold in the lotion on the last few three days. And on right. top of it, you have to put it in the refrigerator. Um, look, let me show. This is um, our orange cream that we've been successful with. This one has the Germa Bean 2 in it. Right. And like she said, we use less than 1% inside our uh, formula. And so there is no... Um, what is it called? Uh, mold. Mold. <laughs> There's no mold whatsoever in this, and um, you know it's it's a big difference. It's a huge difference. Huge difference, guys. So I'd rather use preservatives that include uh, parabens, and it's only at less than one percent, versus a natural preservative, and this is the outcome that I'm going to get. Right. Exactly. Um, oh no, the um, ingredients. Like we're not. I'm not going to read the the ingredients of um, that are on the back of the lotions. Um, before we started making lotion, this is my lotion that I use, and so um, there's a whole bunch of ingredients on the back of this that I don't even know what this is. I can't even pronounce what it is, and so you know, just when you go to the mall and buy lotions and stuff, it's a whole bunch of unnecessary added ingredients inside the lotions that are really not necessary. And so the lotions that we make, it comes with like, it's clear to read. It's not, it's minimal ingredients. You know, um, we try again, try to keep it as natural as we can. And um, we're not hiding anything. We're not using big words that you can't read to try to trick you and we don't need to do all of that. You know, we want to be uh, honest and straightforward with our audience and our customers. So, right. you know, we, we just make it plain and clear so you know what it is that is in our ingredients and what you're putting on your skin. Oh, and basically what's in our ingredients is oil and water. It's oil, distilled water, and emulsifier. Because the emulsifier, what it does is it combines, because everybody knows oil and water doesn't mix. And the emulsifier does is that it helps to combine um, those uh, chem chemical compounds together to make the cream so that you can apply it to your skin. And some, and then we have a fragrance and coloring, right? Just to keep it simple. And because not everything, like when you get it from the store, is always going to be a compound. Of, Com it's it's going to be a compound of ingredients that you don't know what they are, and those and those compounds are artificial, and those are also man-made things. Right, right. Um, I noticed the difference between our lotion versus not even a specific brand, like any lotion that you can buy at the store, online, whatever. Our lotion, like honestly, it makes your skin feel totally different than the other lotions. Like your your skin feels really soft. Right. Even after a few minutes, a few hours, like your skin feels different when you use the lotion that we've created for you guys. Right. And like I said, we're just excited to share and we, we like simple ingredients. We don't, we don't want a whole bunch of other unnecessary things um, to contribute. We want to make sure that we're living the best, healthiest life we can. Right, right. And, um, you know, I, my kids have eczema, and I've tried the lotion on them, and they haven't had any breakouts. They haven't complained about them being itchy or anything like that. And I'm not saying that this lotion is for yeah, eczema or cures eczema but yeah. what i'm saying is you know because i usually buy aveno for them i don't use any other lotion on their skin because they really break out really quickly and um they i wanted to try this because you know it's not just us creating products and just giving it we're trying it too you know because we want to make sure it's actually quality you know we're not we're not producing and then we're scared to try it on ourselves and I have super sensitive skin. I don't have eczema, but I have really sensitive skin. And so I try stuff on me. I, I did my whole entire body and I didn't break up. I didn't um, flare up or anything like that. So, you know, the, the point is for us to try to create products that is good for um, sensitive skin and all kinds of skin types. Right. 
just as a disclaimer though, we do use almond oil in our products and we do use nuts in our products. Just, just as a disclaimer. Right. So like I said, she said, like we're not physicians, we're not any of those things, but we like the product and so far we've gotten really good feedback and other people um, seem to like it as well. Some of our products do contain almond oil. And so um, like we mentioned previously, we're not hiding anything and all of our ingredients are clearly labeled on the back of our products. And it's not like, um, you know, microscopic to where you can't understand or read it. I can't focus it in, but um, you know how some products like once it gets into stuff, they don't want you to know about the font gets smaller. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We want you to know exactly what's in these, uh, our products. So, you know, you're well aware of what you're putting on your skin. And so, um, yeah. So if you're allergic to, to almonds or anything like that, uh, you will know beforehand. So again, it's clearly stated and we just want everybody to be able to enjoy our products and, For sure. um, you know, be honest, give us reviews, you know, because if it's something that you don't like about it, we really love to hear that too, because it gives us a chance to redo it or see what's not working. And, you know, I just, I, I like negative feedback because it, it's, it's helpful. It, it benefits us and it pushes us along our journey. You know, if you don't know anything is wrong, you're never going to be able to fix it. Right. So if you don't know if you don't say nothing, we don't know. Right. So, you know, all good, all bad. It doesn't matter. Uh, let us know what you think about any of our products that you purchase from us. Um, even on our website, you're able to uh, comment or leave a review under the product that you purchase. So um, make sure you do that as well. And uh, we hope that this video was very informative and you learned a little bit about natural preservatives versus um, regular preservatives. And um, not all vegan um, products are really vegan. So make sure you do your research with that as well. And um, if you guys want to uh, check our lotion out, and you know, I, I would say do a, a comparison, like the lotion that you already have at your house. I would say, you know, Try one day, use that lotion, and the next day, use our lotion and see the difference and see how your skin feels. And, you know, let us know. Uh, message us on Facebook or comment on our Facebook page or however, email us. Let us know, um, you know, if you notice a difference and um, just test it out. So, again, you guys, if um, you want to uh, purchase our lotion, just head over to uh, beyondbody.com and I'll also put the link in the description. Uh, that'll take you ex uh, directly to the collection page where you would go straight to the lotion. And mm -hmm. uh, and also, don't be afraid to let us know what products you want us to uh, to service you with in the future. We're here to serve you. Right. You know what I mean? Um, one of our next things that we we're working on producing is a massage oil. Mm -hmm. And you know, and eventually, um, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, bubble bars. Yeah, yes. definitely. Those are the probably the next two things that we're that are coming up, and and we're working on expanding into um, body wash and body gel it, as well. I'm um, excited. It takes it, it like it's it's a lot of research and a lot of time, but like I said, we really really want to want this to go well, and we want to. Right. Um, please share our videos. Please like our pages. Um, let your friends know. Yes. Yes. And yes. we really appreciate everybody's support and um, watching us through this journey. As time goes on, we will improve. Right. And we'll do better. Right. And we're thankful. Absolutely. So thank you guys for the love and support. Thank you for tuning in. And again, I will post the uh, direct link in the comment section. So again, thank you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful day.